Now I'd like to bring in Representative Tim Burchett, a Republican representing Tennessee's second district. Same question, actually, I'll start out with that I, that I just asked to the congressman right before you. How effective do you feel that Liz Cheney's message uh, to Republicans about those who uh, continue to deny uh, the events of, of, of January 6th, essentially will, uh, that, that dishonor will continue with them uh, long past uh, that day? Well, I didn't watch the hearing. I'm, I'm not sure what Liz had said. I, you know, she's pretty much been excommunicated from the party as far as any, uh, I don't really feel like that has any validity within the party now um, because of some past actions leading up to to this. Um, you know, it's, it's when you keep saying Republicans, but the Republicans, as you remember, were, were denied. When Leader McCarthy tried to put people on there, his choices, uh, he was, they were turned back. And that's, and that's why it ended up just being Liz and um, Adam Kinzinger were the only two Republicans on the part on the um, on the commission. And and the whole thing, honestly, ma'am, I mean, you've got you're at ABC, you know, they've hired James Goldston, who's the um, Speaker Pelosi did it with taxpayers money, hired him to produce this event tonight um, in true Hollywood fashion. Don't get me wrong. It was an awful, awful event. And the folks that once they cross those barriers, they could yell and scream, do all they want. But once they cross those barriers, they were criminals. And I, I was there. I was actually the last person to leave the house floor. So I have a pretty good, um, I had a pretty good eye view of that when everybody else had left. So I, I, I have my opinion of that myself. So I'm curious to know what your opinion of that is and, and why you didn't watch tonight. I, you were breaking up a little bit, but I think you, you said, I heard you say that you did not watch the hearing. Why, why was that? I, it, it's not a hearing, ma'am. There's in a hearing you allow, you allow folks to come in and speak on all sides. This was an orchestrated event. Um, you know it, I know it. You have ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN blocked off all this time for it. An ABC executive was hired with taxpayer money to produce it. Um, you know, I, I was, I'm not surprised you didn't have a uh, an opening intro song with the thing um, because this thing has just been produced. The, the riot was horrible. There's no question. I, I, I hate that Officer Sicknick lost his life. I was 100 feet away when the lady got shot um, on the back side of the house chambers there. So, uh, you know, I, as I stated, I had a I had a pretty good view of, of history and it was some pretty bad history, but I felt like it could have been avoided. I felt, you know, um, what was it in, in December of um, uh, prior to January 6th, there were meetings with the um, Washington DC police and I believe eight other law enforcement agencies, the FBI was included. And they uh, there was talk of, of these groups coming in. And yet when I walked up the, um, the steps of the Capitol Right before that, there was one Capitol Hill policeman there on the barricades, and he told us we had to go around because the vice president was there. And so we had to turn back around and go back through the tunnel. And so um, somebody needs to start asking some questions. Why wasn't the National Guard there, and why weren't they called in? You know, there was a Black Lives Matter uh, rally a um, few months prior, a little bit prior to that. And on the Capitol steps, it looked like a... It, it, it looked like a, um, you know, they were ready for war, and yet it was a peaceful, it was a peaceful protest. And this came up, and then um, Speaker or whoever, somebody needs to know why the uh, uh, they were they were not allowed to be there, or, or told not to be there. You know, I talked to um, I talked to on January sixth after it had happened, and we were back on the floor that night. I talked to some of the FBI special forces folks. I, I don't know what you call them. They were dressed up in their SWAT. Uh, outfits and some of them had civilian clothes under it. I asked him, I said, where were y'all? And he said, well, I was at home watching it on television. And, uh, you know, and those are the questions that I think America wants to know. Well, and, that's and, why I, I and I think that, you know, America certainly does want to know. And I, I think that that uh, perhaps is why the, this investigation is is going. And I want to go to that in a moment. But first, if I can just offer one correction, because you suggested that an ABC executive uh, produced it. It's a former ABC executive. So no one who is currently associated with ABC was involved in the production tonight. Uh, but you are uh, among the House Republicans who voted against the creation of an independent January 6th commission. 
Commission, which would have been similar to the 9-11 Commission. It was not. It was not. It was. Quit, you all got to quit saying that. It was not an independent commission. It was appointed by Speaker Pelosi. With, and they already had an agenda. And that was agenda was go after, the, after President Trump. Well, you do have two and, Republicans. And, 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 you, you do have two Republicans uh, on the on the committee, right? In name only, basically, they're no longer member. They're they're um, both going to lose their primaries. Um, oh, they're well, both we, bitter well, about well, it. We, well, we don't. Well, we don't. You, you're allowed to editorialize this whole thing, ma'am. I watched all. I watched some interviews. You're editorializing. You're supposed to be getting news, yet you you failed to do that. How you, am I? How am I failing to, to do re- that? How am I failing to do that, sir? But, by saying what you just said about this this committee, it's not a. It's you, you claim it's bipartisan. It would, would have been bipartisan. Well, I just said that there were two allowed. Republicans on the committee. That's all. I'm I'm not being adversarial here. I'm actually not editorializing. I'm just stating a fact that you have two Republicans. I mean, you can call them rhinos if you want, but they still very much I didn't, consider I didn't themselves. I use that term. Well, you said in name I'm, I'm only. I'm sure they do. <laughs> well, yeah, but they. I said that's what the party would call them, but. But you you can't you cannot deny the biasness in the media. I mean, go back to the election night that Hillary Clinton won, and go back to your own station and look at the disbelief of the uh, of the commentators that President Trump was actually winning. I mean, there is a complete biasness within the national okay, media, so and that's you, why your, okay, your so ratings drop. And but but see, you have that because you, your ratings are dropping incredibly uh, as sir, we speak. I, I mean, I people, see- more people are. More people are probably watching the Cartoon Network that's right now. That's fine. If that's a, that's this. fine and, if they and, would like to do that. But, yes, I, but I do but, have but, some questions but, that I'd like to ask if you would allow me to ask them. Okay, and and please so do. please uh, do. And so I am curious because you talked about how you were there. You were <laughs> among the last people who were there. So based on what you saw that day, and based on your questions as far as why the National Guard was not present for them, but was present uh, for the peaceful protest of the Black Lives Matter movement, you know, weeks prior. So based on the questions that you yourself have, do you? Feel that that day needs to be investigated. I feel like it all shouldn't be investigated, ma'am. I feel like the uh, the 19 people that died, the 2,000 officers that were injured, and 97 police cars that were burned, the standard acts of Boston, the 20 individual act looting, and the two billion dollars of property damage of the riots of the previous of, of the previous year that you, you don't hear any mention of in the media, and and you all continuously covered that up you would hold press conference it looks really peaceful and there'd be building burning behind you i mean two billion dollars and that, that's why the american public doesn't take it take it serious you you should lump it all together they should they should if, if they want to take it serious make it truly bipartisan leader mccarthy will be the next of the house let let, let him make his appointments cover everything and, and open up everything find out why the national guard was not there Find out who who made that call. Why were the um, uh, uh, Capitol Police? Why did they have expired equipment? Why were they not? Uh, get, uh, why was their leadership not providing leadership? Why on the House floor did one right. man run in and yell and, and yell at us to put our gas? Don't there's gas masks on your desk, but don't put them on. And then All they right. pop tear gas. Congressman in the Capitol Burchett, building. Uh, we we really thank you for your time. I'm sorry that we're out of time, and I'm sorry that you I'm sure. are, are not so interested in answering the questions tonight. Um, Ma'am, and, and that's why the us. media. That's that's why ABC will be a dinosaur one day. You're very All soon. Right. And, and, All right, and, Congressman. Thank you very much for your time.